fact that people don't have proper access, the fact that if one of these bridges collapses, communities of hundreds of people are cut off uh, from Barbados and cut off from, from services. The fact that you can see that there, there are no services. The reality is the Democratic Labour Party, and, and this is not this is not a promise, this is a commitment from the bottom of my heart that we will invest and we will develop rural Barbados. It is not, when I talk about development, to change the nature and the character, but to ensure that the people in St. Lucie, in St. Andrew, and in St. Joseph, St. Peter, can have a decent standard of living. In 2023, you shouldn't have to be fighting up from the road. Those are basic services of government. And seeing all the state of these bridges, this bridge here um, in, in, in King Garden, Bruce, Bruceville, this is what, Border Hog, and then Fruit Hill. Fruit for Hill. This bridge actually should not be should not be traversed. You can see that the actual support beams of that bridge have, have given away and have corroded. And, and still this bridge is in use. This is literally an accident waiting to happen. Are we going to wait until a bus collapses and people have to die on this bridge to recognize that something has to be done? And that should not be right in Barbados. These are the kind of conditions that people are living under. Normal citizens who go to work, pay their taxes, try to do right by their, their country and their family. And these are the things that they're, that they're exposed to. 